Hi everybody and welcome back into my kitchen where I'm showing you how to make a series of some of my favourite Persian dishes. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a yoghurt dish accompaniment um, which is called Burani e Espinage. Um, espinage just means spinach. Um, this is one of two of my favourite yoghurt dish accompaniments. The other one is uh, the beetroot one, Mas Balabu, which I've also done a little video on which you can check out. All my recipes for these dishes are on my blog, which is aliasvibrantlife.com, so you can go there to check out the ingredients and more in-depth instructions. So here I've got some spinach, it's baby spinach. I favour that just because it's softer and I've wilted that. If you're going to use regular spinach, then you will need to boil it for a couple of minutes. I've made sure I've squeezed all the water out of the spinach and then I've finely chopped it. So we're going to throw that into some nice thick natural yogurt. You can also use strained yogurt, but I actually prefer the softer texture of just a natural yogurt, full cream natural yogurt. We've also got some walnuts here, really delicious fresh walnuts, which I've chopped finely. And then we've got some saffron water. And I've got some garlic, so I'm just going to actually start putting this all together. I've got some finely minced garlic. You can add as much as you like to your taste. I'm also going to add my walnuts. I'm going to reserve a few just for uh, decoration or garnish at the end. Um, I'm also going to chuck my spinach in. And I've got a little bit of white pepper here. And I'm also going to obviously chuck in a little bit of salt about a teaspoon of lemon juice, just because I love that tang. And we're gonna mix all of this together. Now most, most Persian banquet tables will always have a yogurt dish of one kind or another. Even just serving the plain natural yogurt itself adds a lovely tang to the dish. Okay, so we're gonna give that a really, really good mix. Ideally, you want to do this at least an hour before you're going to serve it because you really want all the flavors in the dish to meld. Now, you'll see this is such a simple dish. And actually, I've had friends come and try this and just thought it would be just really delicious even on very nice sourdough or something like that. And again, quite unusual flavors. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it's all mixed together. And just to make it a little bit prettier, I'm going to take a little bit of my saffron water. I've shown you how to make this saffron water in other videos. You can go and check that out. It's also on my blog. And I'm going to colour a little bit of yoghurt with the beautiful golden saffron water. I mean, look at that. It's such an insane colour. And I'm going to just dollop that in the middle, like that. Just for a little bit of colour. There we go. Ooh, I can't resist. Mm. And then I'm gonna garnish it with some more of my chopped walnuts. And this dish, as I said, this is not a dish that's supposed to be served on its own. It is a dish that is supposed to accompany other dishes as part of a banquet or a feast. If you have any left over, it does taste amazing on toast the next day. There we go.